Now into our previous video we have seen how we can list a file and directory and we have also seen what are the columns and details of files are there. Now here in this particular video we are going to see how we can create our own file and which command we can use for creating the file. So basically you have two different commands. Very first cat command. So cat command you can use if you want to add some data into the file on the time of creation the file itself. So cat command can be used cat space a file name and automatically it will prompt you into the next line and you can add the data into it and you can store the file. So for storing the file you need to press control D key and you can save your file which we are going to see later. Same way you have touch file or touch commands. So touch commands generally used for creating a blank or empty file where you can add the data into the file later on. So this both commands are used for creating the file. Let us see how we can use it into the terminal. So here I am going to create a file. So as such we can see here we do not have any file into this particular directory that is the home directory of your trainer user. Now I want to add a file. So first I am going to add a file with some content. So if I want to create a file I can give cat command along with a single redirection sign and here I'll define the file name. For example, I have defined the file name as file1. Hit enter. Add some text to it. The cat file command is to add data in the file simultaneously. Okay, so I have added some line and now I want to save the file. So you can see while I have defined the cat and uh, greater than sign and file name. So it first added me, asked me to add a line. So I have already added a line and now I want to save the file. So for saving a file, I'll give control plus D. So once you have done with that, it will save your file. Let us check the file has been created or not. Can you see? The file is created. You can also list the file and check whether we have created on the same day or not. So this is the time at which I have created my file on this date and this is the time of creation. And the permissions who has created the file that is a trainer. The group is again a trainer created a file file one. So this is the way you can use a cat command to create a file. Same way you can also use a touch command so I'm just going to clear this terminal and I'll be giving the touch command to create empty file so I'm going to define file 2 and just hit enter now can you see the difference it is not asking me for adding the text here or we do not have to press anything to save the file in spite the file has been created correct so you can see file 2 is again created by the trainer itself right at this particular time but I haven't added anything into the file so these are the two methods you can use for creating a file if you want an empty file use the touch command if you want to create a file by you adding the data simultaneously into it you can go for the cat command so in the next video we are going to see more about managing your files